Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole and in today's video you guys will be getting ready with me but this will be a hair addition. So yeah, I'm just like touching up the sides and the back of my hair because that's all I do when it comes to relaxer. If you are not sure about doing relaxers, please, 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 please do not do it yourself. Please go to a professional. I am risking it. I do not suggest anyone relax their hair on, by themselves because a lot of bad things can happen to your hair. But yeah, I'm doing that. I'm just putting a rinse, not any bleach, just a rinse or a semi-permanent color on my hair. Just showing you guys how I get this purple right here. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social medias and enjoy. All right, um, today we're going to be um, touching up the sides of my head. So I'm going to be doing like the perimeter around the back. I will not be touching the colored area. Um, it's the only time I put relaxer on my hair. I never relax my whole head myself. Um, I rather just do the back and the sides um, as a touch up, but that's basically it. So I'm gonna put on some gloves just to make sure my hands are protected, even though sometimes I don't put gloves on. So basically what I do is, I'll start with the back and I'll just take a applicator brush to apply my relaxer. And relaxed for my relaxer, I'm using the Hawaiian Silky Cream Conditioning um, No Base Relaxer. I'm using the mild one. I always use the mild one when I'm touching up. I don't know what kind my um the person that does my hair uses. She uses the same relaxer on my hair. I'm just going to apply it all around the back of my head and the sides. Usually I would get a touch up in between relaxers. So I get a relaxer every four to six weeks. So I would do a touch up every two to three weeks um, between relaxers just to make sure the back is laid down and the sides are laid down and the top can, you know, be flat ironed out unlike the back. I'm letting this sit on my head for about five minutes. It's gonna be five minutes really soon. So first I'm going to be using this neutralizing, this ISO Plus neutralizing shampoo. My aunt used to use this on my hair when I had my hair short before and I got relaxers. So I'm gonna use the same thing on my head. I'm gonna use this um, neutralizing shampoo. It turns pink when you're washing out um, relaxers. So I like to use this cause then it'll tell me um, basically if there's still relaxer on my hair. I'm gonna go in with this probably about two times and more if I still have relaxer on my head. And then I'm going to follow with the Shea Moisture Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Shampoo. Um, I go in with this just because my hair is colored and I have a relaxer and this helps to strengthen my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I will be right back and I'm gonna show you guys how I color this area of my head. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm done washing my hair. I have water all over me. Ooh. All right, so anytime I wash my hair at home, I make sure I deep condition because um, sometimes I don't get my hair deep conditioned at the salon. Some of the color stayed on it, so I'm just gonna do a color that's within the same color scheme. So I'm using the same colors, it's just that I feel like I want it to be more towards gray than towards purple. So I'm going to be mixing two colors from Adore and I'm using focus 150 Platinum and 90 Lavender. I'm going to mix these two colors together and put it on my hair. So first I'm going to use my hair mask from Shea Moisture. This is the Sasha Inchi Oil. It's Rescue and Repair Hair Mask. I use this every time I wash my hair at home. So I'm gonna take applicator brush that I always use and I'm going to take a mixing bowl 
I'm going to take some of the conditioner. I'm going to take enough um, for the top of my head. So I'm going to start off with the platinum. And I'm going to put a couple, like just a squeeze in there. Because now it's thicker. It used to be watery, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to mix that around in the conditioner. So I'm going to put some more because I really want the platinum to show. I think that's enough. So three full squeezes I think is enough because it's becoming like that dark purple shade. So I think that's enough for that. I'm going to take the lavender which is going to come out darker. I'm going to put one full squeeze to see what that looks like. I don't know. I think I want to put another squeeze of the lavender. It's best to mix um, your coloring with a white conditioner so you can see like what color you're actually putting on your hair. Um, because I've made the mistake of not doing that and I've came out with so many different weird colors. And I don't mind coming out with different colors because it's it washes out. Just put another squeeze of the platinum. Um, but I will say that I'd rather do it with the conditioner so I can see what color I'm getting. Okay, so this is what I got. Um, I think I want to put a little bit of the magenta in. Just a little. Oh, this is not magenta. This is Fiesta Fuchsia number 83. I'm going to put one squeeze of that. Not even a full squeeze. This is cute. I think I'm going to use this. Cute, real cute. Yeah, I'm going to put one more squeeze of the platinum and this is going to go in my hair. Found a color. So usually, every time you guys see me, I have a different color in my hair because this is what I literally do. I just play around with the colors until I see something that I like. I don't really like sit there and be like, oh, this is this is the color I had before. This is the color I want. I'll just play around with the colors until I see something I like. Oh, so, this is the color that is going on my head. Oops. Towel off and show you guys what the top looks like. So this is what it looks like. It is gray, I guess. My hair, I don't know. My hair, ever since I started putting colors on it, this is the color it turns. It turns a weird gray color. Yeah, so I'm going to put the regular conditioner on the sides in the back of my head first so that those hairs are out of the way. Usually I have a mirror for the back of my head, but I don't know what I do with it, so I'm chancing it right now. So the reason why I'm doing this at home is because I don't plan on getting a relaxer or anything for like the next two weeks because my birthday is coming. And I want my hair to be like fresh. I want a fresh hairstyle from everything. I'm just going to put on some gloves to put this on the top of my head because even though it might not stain my hands, I still want to be safe. So I'm just going to take the mixture that's on the brush and just apply it on my hair. And I'm going to make sure I get the root of my head as well. So it's all over so now I'm just gonna um part the hair and make sure it's like really in there so that I have an even amount of color on my head. I'm gonna take a plastic shower cap and put this over my head. 
gonna take a wrap strip and just tie it around so that you know my hair gets the real penetration and there's like no air coming out and I'm gonna sit under my dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes just let my hair do its thing and then I'm gonna go wash it out and then I'll come back and wrap down my head all right so this is the color that came out it didn't get on my root that well but I don't care just as long as it's on my ends because my hair is gonna be slicked down anyway so it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna spray my Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. I'm just gonna spray this all over my head. Cause you know we're gonna be sitting under some heat. And then of course I'm gonna take my Nairobi Rapid Shine Foam that I use all the time. Shake it up a little. And I'm going to wrap down my hair. So sometimes you guys complain that when it's, um. When your hair is wrapped down, it's not laying flat. You got to make sure that the foam is like in your roots or it's not going to lay like super flat. So I usually put it in my hair and just rub it and make sure it's at the root. Because my hair is shorter, wrapping my hair goes by a little bit faster. Yes, I am going to wave my edges. I just want to make sure everything is flat first before I start to wave my edges. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I wave my edges, I will leave the little white thing will go across the screen and I will leave a link down below on how I wave my edges up. It's the same concept, it's just that my hair is wet right now. That's basically it. For some reason, I could do this side quicker and easier than the other side. I don't know. I guess it's because I'm right-handed and this is on my right side, but the other side gives me a hard time. So of course I'm just going to take some wrap strips and wrap down my head. So like the last time, I'm just going to take one and wrap it around my whole entire head. Make sure my hair lays flat. I'm just going to take a hair clip and just clip it. And I'm going to take another one and tie it tight around my head so I'm gonna go under the dryer for 30 to 45 minutes dry my whole head okay so my face is on so now it is time to flat iron the hair so first things first let me just get a little bit of nourish and shine on my hair so that it is not dry I'm doing much just going through the hair to make it you know flat and I'm spraying my hair with the beat the heat spray again so the flat iron I'm using is this red kiss red by kiss I guess um flat iron I think it's 1 8 or 3 8 again I'm gonna put it in the description bar like I always do because I'll always forget the size of the um flat iron so I'm just gonna put it in the description bar down below so that you guys can find it I'm going to just get around that area and then I'm going to, you know, mess with my edges.
So I'm going to take this Care Care Wax Stick on my comb. That's all I do. And I'm just going to go through the hair and lay it down instead of using um, edge control. Put the wrap strip on, and then I'm gonna follow with um, my scarf. I tie it, I edge tie it, whatever I want to call it. And there we go, nothing special. Course, um, this is my everyday look, but I don't know. I just felt like doing it for you guys and showing you guys how I color my hair and how I do my touch ups. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all social medias, and I love you guys so much.